Hey guys, this is Obed. In this video, guys, we are going to talk to you about the end time false prophets. So, guys, we are living in a crazy time right now. It's very unpredictable what's going to happen. But there's one thing that we know that Jesus, the Bible, tells us everything. So, that's the reason why the real Christian would not be alert, would not be afraid, would not be scared. Because Jesus Christ told us the Bible already warned us about all those times so now so guys the sad thing is that there's so many false prophets that are coming into <laughs> into into the surface now so I'm surprised by that because the Bible already told us that because the disciple asked Jesus in Matthew 24 what are this end what are the signs of the end of time and Jesus Christ told them that something very important in the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 10 to 11 and Jesus Christ told him that many will depart from the faith right and then verse 11 said that and many false prophets will come will arise they will deceive a lot of people so that's what we are seeing right now that's what we are fulfilling right now and one of the things I want you guys to understand is that be careful I'm talking to my fellow Christians to my fellow pastors my fellow prophets be careful so you not be the one that that's that, that are fulfilling that end time prophecy because Jesus Christ said it. False prophet will come. False prophets will come. Make sure that you're not the one that's fulfilling this Bible prophecy. Just like when in the book of uh, Psalms, when there was a prophecy about someone who was somebody somebody was supposed to come to to betray Jesus, to to sell Jesus, and Judas was one of the disciples. It was somebody. It was not somebody else out there. It was someone in the in, in the circle of Christ. So that prophecy that Jesus Christ said, so many false prophets will, will arise. You know who's going to to fulfill it? Not people that's from the outside. Some people from the in in, in the church. Some pastors. Some prophets. They're the one that's going to fulfill it. All right. So now, if you look at in the book of Deuteronomy, verse eight, chapter eighteen verse 20 to 22 so I'm gonna read that to you, to you so you can see what the Bible says about a false prophets how can how how can you recognize a false prophet so on Deuteronomy 18 verse 20 he said that but a prophet who presumes to speak in my name anything I have not committed but a prophet who speaks in the name of other gods it's to be put to death verse 21 you may say to yourself how can we know when a message has not been spoken by the Lord? Verse 22, he said that if, if what a prophet proclaims in the name of the Lord does not take place or come true, that is a message the Lord has not spoken. That prophet has spoken uh, presumptuously, so do not be alarmed. Do not be alarmed. So in other words, the Bible says that how if you say to yourself verse 21 if you say to yourself how how do we know if uh, the word does not come from God and, and the Bible says that when a prophet so called that they heard the word from the Lord and they speak the word if the if it does not take place if the word does not come to pass that mean the Lord never spoke that the Lord has not, has not spoken so that word that person they never heard that word from God so that's the reason why we have to be careful so a lot of people going around predicting stuff in the name of Jesus in the name of God that can never take place you know what the Bible calls you, you go a, a false prophet you need to repent and come back to God I'm not making this video to bash anyone I'll, I want you I just want you to sound the alarm because there's a prophecy that's hanging and someone has to come to fulfill it. So be careful. You are so you not be the one that's going to fulfill that entire prophecy, the false prophets ones. Because there's so much things that's happening right now. You can see nation against nations, war, you can famine, you know, earthquakes, all these things happening. But you and I in the in the body of Christ, are we the one that's going to be that's going to fulfill the false prophets and time prophecy? No, you don't want you don't want to do that. That's the reason why you need to check your heart. What has, has the passion of your heart? Are you prophesying because of self-gain? 
because of, of, of fame, because you're trying to please people, because you're trying to please a leader, you're trying to please a, a, a group of people. If you are prophesying up like that, I'm telling you, you have not heard from God. That, that's the reason why you have to be careful. Because when you make a state like a, 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 a huge statement in the name of God, in, 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 and you claim that you heard from God, if it does not come to pass, you are a false prophet. I'm not condemning you. I'm just inviting you to repent, to turn back to the first love. Because just like the Bible says, what is it for men to gain the whole world and to lose your soul? You don't want to lose your soul just to, because you want to please people. You don't want to lose your soul because you want to just, because of your platform, your media. It's time for you to repent publicly. Seek God while he may be found. You don't want to be the one that, that's, that's fulfilling the end time prophecy. Like I said, I'm not bashing you. You are my brother, you're my sister. But it's time for you to repent. To go back to the first love. Just like the Bible says, what is it for me to gain the whole world? And to lose his soul. You don't want to lose your soul. Because of, your, of, of, of all the many followers you have. You don't want to lose your soul because of your platform. You don't want to lose your soul because of try, you try to please a party. You try to please a group of people. You don't want to do that. So I just want to. I just, I just wanted to encourage you today with this word. It's time to go back. Be careful. You don't want to be the one that's fulfilling the end time prophecy. May the Lord, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Until next time, be empowered. God bless you.